Hello students. So our uh, today's topic is file access method. Till now we have uh, completed the introduction to the file and uh, what are the various attributes of the file and what are the different operations that we can perform on the file. Right. So we have understood that file store information. Files store information. When it is used, this information must be accessed and read into computer memory, right? Why we are storing this information to access it in few for in future? So when we want to access it and we know that that files are stored in the disk, we need some access mechanism to get those files into memory, that is RAM or main memory. So the information in the file can be accessed in several ways. Some system provide only one of these three access and other systems such as uh, other systems support many access methods. So there are three access methods that we have three types of access methods to access the file. First one is sequential access, then direct access then indexed access. This indexed access is also known as indexed sequential access. Sequential access me time zyada lagta hai to usko index kar diya. So indexed sequential access. So this one is direct which is also called as random and relative access also. So let's go through one by one. So this is sequential access. In sequential access, we process the information inside the file in order. That means one after another. We read one record. We re uh, there in the file, let's assume in the file there are four records. So first, we have to access the record one, then next record two, then next record three, then next record four. So we have to go sequentially. And this is the simplest access method and uh, it is mainly based on the tape model do you know tape magnetic tape magnetic tape goes sequentially if you want to access the third record you have to cross the first and second also okay uh, do you remember the cassette player cassette we cannot directly go to the third song we have to pass the first and second if you want to re you can forward it or rewind it but you have to go through the each and every record or each and every song bits or bytes record in between. So you cannot directly go to the third song. You have to pass the first two song and then you can access the third one. So in the same way the sequential access is based on that tape record, tape model. So here one record after the other we access. So mostly editors and compilers usually access files in this fashion. Editors and compilers. Read next. Here it will we perform three or four operations. That is if you are accessing the file, you are actually what you will be doing. You will be reading or writing or rewinding or appending. What are the different operations that we have covered in the last video. Right. So if read operation perform karna hai, so here, because you are sequentially going, so you have to read the record that you want to read and then advance the pointer to the next position. So it will read the record and moves the pointer to the next position. Read next. Write next in the same way which record you want to write. First write it. Write mostly we end of the file. Karte hai. So first if you want to write next the pointer will go to end of the file and then you perform the right operation and then it advances the position of the right pointer or make a new end of the file. Okay. So again rewind moving back to earlier location and skip end records means in some sequential access method in some devices skip function is also there skip operation is also there where we can skip some records right so here it is the diagram 
just assume that we have the file this is the beginning of the file this is the end of the file right and we are in the middle this is our current position and if we want to read from the file if we are here we read it and advances this pointer to the which will point to the next location this is the read next and if you want to perform write on the same location you can perform the write on the same location and then advance advance or move to the move the pointer to the next location that is write next rewinding means you are coming back to the beginning of the file rewinding okay so in this way our editors and compilers usually access files which is stored in the secondary storage okay so after the sequential access the second access method is direct access so our direct access method is mainly based on the disk model since disk allows random access to any file block how do we store the data in the disk in a block theek hai ek ek block mein wo store hota hai ya platter then track and then sector but inside a sector there is a block block wise we store the data so there is no restriction on the order of reading or writing for a direct access like in like in sequential access hum ek ek karke read karte hain there is there must be an order one after another but here there is no order theek hai so if you have large amount of information inside the file then it will be very tedious to access sequentially so by going through the disk model we can use the direct direct access method to access those records so here we have read next or write next ki jagah hamare paas ye cheeze hain read n where n is the block number theek hai ab aapne bola being a user you want to read a record number 0 read 0 that is a block number if n is the block number if and if i am saying read 0 that means read the block 0 theek hai तो ब्लॉक नंबर जीरो अगर आपको रीड करना है डजेंट मीन दैट कि डिस्क में भी वो ब्लॉक नंबर जीरो ही होगा डिस्क में मे बी वो फोर ट्वेंटी थर्ड रिकॉर्ड होगा ठीक है बट देर मस्ट बी अ मैपिंग बिटवीन दिस फिजिकल मेमोरी एंड द सेकेंडरी मेमोरी तो ये रिलेटिव दिस इज रिलेटिव एड्रेसिंग ठीक है किस तरीके से वो फाइल मेन मेमोरी में आया है तो हमको जो ब्लॉक नंबर यूजर को जो पता है इन द इन द सेम दैट वे वी एक्सेस द फाइल ब्लॉक्स ठीक तो हमने फाइल ब्लॉक को रीड किया जस्ट डायरेक्टली गिविंग द रीड लाइक रीड 123 तो अब 123 रिकॉर्ड को एक्सेस करने के लिए यू नीड नॉट टू गो फ्रॉम जीरो टू 122. You can directly move to the 123rd third block. ठीक है वन वन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ब्लॉक में आप सीधे डायरेक्ट मूव कर सकते हो इन द सेम वे आपको अगर राइट करना है किसी पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक में तो राइट एंड देन द ब्लॉक नंबर विल कैन बी गिवन सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली गो टू दैट ब्लॉक एंड देन एक्सेस देन राइट एंड अपडेट द राइट पॉइंटर You, that means you can ja directly jump to the nth block number you need not to go sequentially so this is called direct access or you can say it random access theek hai to zero se aap end of file mein bhi ja sakte hain fifth record se aap 10th block mein bhi ja sakte hain theek hai so databases kahan use hota hai direct access files to direct access files are of great use where the immediate access to large amount of information is required theek hai ye kahan hoga so databases are often of this types we use this type of access method in databases where the records large number of records are maintained in the file and you want to access that directly a single record theek hai kisi ek company ke bare mein sara record maintain hai aapko sirf employee ki information chahiye you can directly query the current record directly query for the employees information and it will return you the actual record so in this way you can directly access the data so this is 
डायरेक्ट एक्सेस मेथड ओके तो वहां पर रीड नेक्स्ट हो रहा था तो अगर इसी को हमको सिक्वेंशियली करना पड़ेगा तो हमको पहले पॉइंटर पता होना चाहिए पॉइंटर पता है उसके बाद रीड क्या करना है रीड करिए उस पॉइंटर को करंट पॉइंटर को रीड करिए एंड देन गो सिक्वेंशियली बिकॉज इन साइड दैट ब्लॉक यू हैव टू गो सिक्वेंशियली इन द सेम वे राइट में भी आपको अगर पॉइंटर पता चल गया है राइट पॉइंटर एंड देन गो सिक्वेंशियली राइट बट यू कैन गो डायरेक्टली टू दिस करेंट पॉइंट ओके सो अवर थर्ड एक्सेस मैथड इज इंडेक्सड सिक्वेंशियल एक्सेस here the access will be sequential but what we are doing we are maintaining index of it likewise we stored in a book book have different chapters and inside a chapter there are different topics so if you want to go on a particular topic you can directly go to the index find out that topic then get the page number and directly go to that particular page number so there is a key and the pointer is the page number so in the same way in index access the index is created which contains a key field and pointers to the various blocks likewise you can see here there is a key just assume these are the topics that are there inside the book which is a key and the second entry is second entry in the index this is primary index ठीक है तो इस इंडेक्स में सेकंड इंडेक्स में सेकंड एंट्री किसकी होगी द दिस की इज इज स्टोर्ड वेयर द पॉइंटिंग और द पॉइंटर टू द डिस्क लोकेशन वेयर डज दिस की रिकॉर्ड द रिकॉर्ड व्हिच हैज द की के वन इज स्टोर्ड और उससे रिलेटेड सारी इंफॉर्मेशन हम इस पॉइंटर से लेकर आ जाएंगे किसी कंपनी में बहुत सारे एम्प्लॉयज हैं आपको किसी एक एम्प्लॉय का जब से वो ज्वाइन किया है तब से लेकर अभी तक सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए तो यू हैव मेंटेन इंडेक्स ऑफ दैट फार इंडेक्स ऑफ द ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज बाय हैविंग अ की एज अ एम्प्लॉय नंबर एम्प्लॉय यूनिक आई नंबर ठीक है जस्ट बाई गिविंग आई यू विल गेट दैट फाइल विच इज स्टोर ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट एम्प्लॉय टिल डेट ठीक है उसकी सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन ठीक है उसका स्किल अपग्रेडेशन क्या हुआ उसने लीव कितनी ली उसको क्या क्या टास्क मिला विच टास्क हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड ऑन टाइम और लाइक वाइज इन्फॉर्मेशन विल बी देयर इन द पर्सनल फाइल ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय नंबर वन सो इन द इंडेक्स्ड सिक्वेंशियल एक्सेस द रिकॉर्ड्स आर लाइक सेम ठीक है रिकॉर्ड्स आपका सेम है ये फाइल है इस फाइल में रिकॉर्ड्स वैसे ही हैं ठीक है लेकिन इसमें से जो रिकॉर्ड ये जो रिकॉर्ड है ऐसे बहुत सारी फाइल्स होंगे या एक ही फाइल में बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन होगी उसका कौन सा ब्लॉक है वो ब्लॉक पता करने के लिए यू आर मेकिंग अ इंडेक्स ऑफ इट ठीक तो इंडेक्स आप निकाल रहे हो मान लो कि आपने फाइल में इंडेक्स से ही मैपिंग की है सिक्वेंशियल नंबर दिया है पर्सनल आई नंबर से ही सारी डेटा उस पर्टिकुलर एम्प्लॉय की सारा इन्फॉर्मेशन आपने रखा है तो इंडेक्स जब आप बना रहे हो तो जैसे कि वन टू टेन रिकॉर्ड कैन बी फाउंड इन दैट फाइल और इन दैट लोकेशन और इन दैट ब्लॉक सो पॉइंटिंग टू द डिस्क लोकेशन ऑफ वन टू टेंथ रिकॉर्ड देन इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी एथ रिकॉर्ड लाइक वाइज सो इन दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द डेटा सिक्वेंशली बट इन अ इंडेक्स मैनर वेरी फास्ट यू कैन फाइंड इट You can access the data or information stored in the file quickly. So these are the three access methods available with files. So, so these are the three access methods available with the files that we have discussed: sequential access, direct access, and index sequential access. Okay, thank you.